believe that they are putting pedophiles in power. And I was very compelled by your investigation into Emmanuel Macron's childhood. Now, the legend holds that he was raised by his grandmother and didn't have a very close relationship with his biological parents. Am I correct in stating that his grandmother worked at a trans clinic at some point or Emmanuel Macron's family worked at a trans clinic? Can you elaborate on that? First of all, we don't know much about Macron. He grew up with his grandmother and the house they lived in is now closed. It's very strange. There's no photos that exist of Macron with his parents before the age of 25. What we discovered is that a woman named Francois Nogues, who was presented as the mother of Emmanuel Macron, was in charge of a medical program for transgender people in France. This information was never in the newspapers and there are testimonies that we found where transgender people are thanking Francois Nogues for this program. And the strange point here is, when we researched the life of Jean-Michel Trogneau with Brigitte, we found that they're connected to Emmanuel Macron. All of these elements are very strange, and we must remember that Macron, before he was president, he was a banker at Rothschilds & Co. But he doesn't have the qualifications to be a banker. Yeah. A colleague of his said that it is peculiar that he became the youngest associate. In the report, we see that Brigitte Macron is very close with David de Rothschild, like family. He is the godfather of Macron. And you have to remember that David de Rothschild is the president of the World Jewish Congress. So it's for this reason that whenever anyone brings up Brigitte Macron and pedophilia, they are accused of anti-Semitism. For example, you, Candace, are mm -hmm. accused of this. Zoe Sagon, who is a Twitter account who helped me publish this case, was banned after pressure from Jewish organizations. And during a radio show, I gave a list to the owner of a French media outlet, and France called Italy to bring accusations of anti-Semitism. Three hours ago, a list appeared in a left-leaning paper called Le Monde Diplomatique, and it's an official list that says, Rupert Murdoch, Fox News, you are an anti-Semite. It makes no sense. The question is, why is everyone who pursues this case of Macron being labeled as an anti-Semite? The answer is very simple. It is because David de Rothschild is the godfather of Macron and the president of the World Jewish Congress. And if you look at the Epstein case, there is a financial structure to support their operation. It's a mega group created by Leslie Wexner and Edgar Bronfman, who was the chairman of the World Jewish Congress at the time. And the documents, the Austrian passport that the FBI found at Epstein's house, were a gift from Ronald Lauder, who helped Epstein in his case, and later became the president of the World Jewish Congress. You can see that it was this organization that called the Epstein case a controlled accident, and which Putin called a collective accident with blackmail on people who are really puppets, and do what they're told because they don't want their private lives shown to the public. This is fascinating, and it's fascinating because the fact that you are now being accused of anti-Semitism for a piece that you wrote three years ago, and in reality, what you're trying to do today is to expose a pedophile ring and to know that that is exactly what is happening to me only reaffirms my belief that what we have right now is a pedophile ring that has assumed a ton of power in the world by pretending that any person that notices this pedophile ring is an anti-Semite. My theory is that these people are not Jewish. I think that they have, you know, they publicly present themselves as being Jewish, but in reality, they worship and follow an entirely different faith and it's satanic. You know, that is why I have encouraged my listeners to learn who Jacob Frank was, to learn what Frankism was, because that never went away and it came to America. And when these pedophiles get caught, they say, oh, I'm Jewish. This is blood libel. This is blood libel. And it's so important for Jewish people to wake up and to understand that this is not blood libel. This is not anti-Semitism. These are demonic, monstrous people that are using Judaism 
to hide what their actions are. And it just can't be the case that every person that discovers pedophilia is then accused of anti-Semitism by the very powerful media organ. So I want to ask you about Tafan now, the daughter of Brigitte Macron, because Tafan seems to be the only person um, in Brigitte's family that will lie for Brigitte. It's very public, Tafan. What is the actual relationship between Tafan and Brigitte? Did Brigitte father Tafan? Why is Tafan so involved in trying to convince the public that Brigitte is a man, is a woman, when it's so obvious that Brigitte was born a man? First, to finish on this point, you are a Catholic, Candace, mm -hmm. and you have to remember what is written in the Book of Revelations. They say Jewish, but they're not really Jewish. They are a satanic synagogue. So this text is important. Tiffany Ozier is the niece of Brigitte. She's the daughter of Brigitte Trogneau, and legally she is the niece of Jean-Michel Trogneau. They didn't change the story. It's just misdirection. When I studied the Epstein case, they used a lot of misdirection, like when you watch something by David Copperfield. It seems to be very complex, but at the end, it's a very simple thing. It was just a switch in identities. In the mid-80s, a brother takes the identity of his sister. That's it. Then we observe something strange about Tiffany Ozier. She was a lawyer in the north of France, and when we pursued this case, she suddenly wrote a book and became a writer and increased her social status. And her sister, who was a renowned cardiologist in Paris, suddenly became a contemporary artist in the style of Jeff Koons. She has associated her art with Jack Long, who is friends with Macron, and was friends with Epstein. It's the same Jack Long we mentioned earlier was connected to these famous pedophilia cases in France. Her social status is also increasing. All right, guys, jumping in to remind you about American.